Hi everyone, I just posted this video with Byron Coffrin, ACA Justin, Justin Carter, a former security industry specialist employee. He, a whistleblower, coming out talking about how Amazon and SIS are targeting the homeless population in Seattle experimenting on them with their weapons. Okay, well, Byron Coffrin had this website, gangstalkerwars.com. I just got a comment from someone who told me there's nothing on Gang Stalker Wars. He has a podcast page, and if you click the podcast, video unavailable, podcast unavailable, and nothing on the blog, wiped clean, Okay, uh, what has happened to Byron Coffrin, Aka, Justin Carter? Now, I tried to find those interviews of Byron, and they were all over YouTube. I posted one on Kafka Winston World. I can't find many of the videos of the interviews. And I've put in a, a whole lot of different results. Um, I mean search words, but this, I can't even play it. It won't play. Okay. Uh, this is security industry specialists. They do work with Amazon. Amazon security contractor under fire for allegedly failing to accommodate Muslim workers. Uh, and that is security industry specialists. What happened here? This, um, just to let you know a little bit more about him, a major whistleblower called Byron Coffrin, who recently used an alias called Justin Carter, has come forward with intelligence about the surveillance network and total individual control technology, which is in operation throughout Ireland and the wider world. Unbeknownst to the majority of the human race, this technology has the capability to influence thoughts over a wide geographical area. This capability is more commonly known as remote influencing technology. This technology also has the capability of locking into the resonant frequency of the DNA of any individual in order to monitor the thoughts of said human being and reply to that individual's thoughts in real time. This capability is commonplace throughout the world at this point in time. And it is now believed that this technology was used on both President George Bush Jr. and Obama. If fifth generation wireless technology is ever installed in our country, then this surveillance capability and total individual control capability could then be made to transmit pain signals to any targeted individual who refused to comply with the instructions of the surveillance network staff. And I will tell you that whether it's 5G, whether it's 4G, uh, this technology, these frequencies cause an awful lot of pain. Um, we should be develop, uh, dismantling the telephone mask. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I want to bring your attention to a, a podcast or I don't know, whatever you call these. Um, an interview with Byron Coffrin. I'll link below to this interview, but now I'm very concerned about Byron Coffrin. In the comment, there was uh, a... They wrote that maybe this person Oh, God, I can't remember what they wrote. Jesus, a shill or... Um, I can't remember, I'm sorry. But I don't think... I don't think he is. I think he's legit. I've listened to several of his interviews, and he comes across as quite legit. Now, I've never seen his face, um, so... If anybody has any information on Byron Coffrin, ACA Justin Carter, former security industry specialist employee, 
whistleblower, could you please leave a comment below with links if you know that Byron Coffrin is okay? Or if you come across any information that he has uh, disappeared, I would really appreciate knowing what has happened here. Thank you.